This week, I'm sharing three easy freezer meals that you can throw together in just a few minutes. This last week was fall break, so we ran away from the snow and went to a little bit warmer weather down in Moab. There we spent a lot of time together as a family. The only bad thing is, is that when you come back, you have to come back to real life. So there's laundry and there's dinner. And I knew that we were going to be cutting it close. When we got home, it would be close to dinner time. So I made a few freezer meals so I could be all ready for when we got home. If you guys are ready, let's just jump into the recipes. So the first recipe I'm making is our beef and broccoli teriyaki. All right, so we're gonna start with one pound of very thinly sliced steak, and I just cut it into to little pieces. Then we have a few things that we need. So we need some cornstarch, some soy sauce, some ginger. I like to use the paste that, it just makes your life so much easier that it's already done. Then we have some garlic, some crushed red pepper, some sesame seeds, yes, you will want this because it's just fun. Then you need a little bit of brown sugar, some sesame oil, some vegetable oil, and then a lot, a lot of broccoli. Okay, so first you're gonna put your steak into a freezer meal bag. There we go. I love these little bendable cutting boards. They're my favorite. And you're gonna take a fourth cup of cornstarch. Now I know that seems like a lot, but trust me on this one. And we're just gonna put it right into the freezer meal bag. All right, then you're gonna take that off. You wanna make sure there's air in it. We're just going to shake it all up because we want the cornstarch to cover all of the steak. So then you're just gonna take all the air out of this one, zip it up, and then just put it to the side. Okay, so you're gonna do a half cup of soy sauce. Then I have four tablespoons of brown sugar, about one teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic, and then about half a teaspoon of the ginger. One teaspoon of sesame seeds, a half teaspoon of sesame oil, and then one four teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Then you're just going to mix this all together. Okay, and we're just gonna pour this into a freezer meal bag too. Whoa. <laughs> okay, these little stands are saving me today. Okay, we're gonna zip this up except for a little bit. We're gonna get all the air out of this. We don't want any air. All right, so we have our last freezer meal bag. I know this uses a lot of bags, but if you're gonna freeze it, this works the best way. So we're gonna put our steak in the bottom. Then we're gonna put our sauce right on top. And then we're gonna add about three to four cups of broccoli. I'm just gonna fill it till it's to the top. And I am breaking these pieces into smaller pieces because they're really, really big, if you know what I'm saying. Once it's all done, so I can fit a little bit more in there. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fill it as full as we can. We're going to close it just until there's a little bit left. I'm gonna squeeze all that air out. All right, beef and broccoli teriyaki done. All right, it's time to cook the beef and broccoli teriyaki. Now I'm gonna use my Instant Pot to cook the broccoli and then my stove top to cook the rest. So I'm gonna hold on to the sauce and then just dump in the broccoli. Just in the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now if you don't have an Instant Pot, that's okay. You can actually cook it in the microwave. You just wanna steam the broccoli. So now I'm just gonna add about a half cup of water and then put the lid on. Now if you have a little knob, you would turn this to ceiling, but because I don't have one, I don't have to touch anything. Now the broccoli, I am only gonna cook for well, zero minutes because we just want it cooked. We don't want it soggy. There we go. Set it to zero and you can walk away. All right, so I pulled out the steak. I put this actually in my fridge um, this morning. So, I mean, it's still pretty frozen, but it's starting to thaw a little bit. And then the sauce is pretty much thawed, ready to go. So I'm gonna pour just a little olive oil into a pan. We're gonna heat it up to medium high heat. All right, gonna go ahead, add my steak. There we go. And then cook it until it's pretty much all the way cooked through. All right, it's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce. This is all done and our broccoli just beeped, so let's pull that out. So it's been done for about three minutes. I usually like to do it right when it's done, but we need to release the pressure here. Now, while that's releasing, I kind of cheated and I love Uncle Ben's ready rice. So we cooked up some um, brown and wild rice and then 
Lots of you have been asking of what else I have with it. So I just made an Asian salad. It comes in a packet, super simple and easy, but I just like to have lots of vegetable options um, at dinner time. All right, broccoli is all done, nice and steamed. Let's put it together. So first we're gonna start off with just a little bit of rice. Oh, I made a big mess. Then I'm gonna add my broccoli next. I like my broccoli on the side. Next, your yummy beef. I like it on top of the rice. Then I like to have my salad on the side. My kids also love fruit when we have fruit with our meals. So I always make sure I have some sort of fruit. And you guys, that's really kind of what we eat for our dinner. So we always have the main dish and then I always just throw in a few sides too. Okay, Ensley's our taste tester of the beef and broccoli. Nice. All right, Sarah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> the next recipe I'm making is tomato basil soup. This is one of my most favorites, especially when you roast the tomatoes. Ugh, it makes them taste so good. Okay, so I have nine tomatoes here that I chopped up. I just wanna show you. I cut them in half, and then I cut the half into fourths, so each tomato is about into eighths or so. So we're just gonna dump this onto our foil lined cookie sheet. Then we have one onion that we chopped up. You can do bigger chunks of onion if you want, but we did we did little ones today. So we have about one teaspoon, ooh, one teaspoon of garlic powder that we're just gonna sprinkle around over everything. And then just some salt and pepper to taste. And we're just gonna add about two tablespoons or so of our olive oil. Then just go ahead and spread it all out and we are ready to cook this. Okay, we're gonna do this for 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or so. Onions and tomatoes are all done cooking. They look and smell so good. So I'm gonna carefully just scoop it into my blender because we want it nice and smooth. So I need a little bit of liquid in here in order for my blender to work. So we're gonna add half cup of cream. And then I'm also gonna throw in about 14 leaves of fresh basil. Just throw that on top. Okay, so this is a ninja, so my lid snaps in. Push power, and we're gonna go to soup. Then in a stock pot, we're gonna add one fourth cup of butter. We're just gonna mix this around until the butter's pretty melted. Then we're just gonna pour our soup on top of this. Now it's time to add the soup. Smells so good. Then you're just gonna combine the butter and the soup. Now you just want this until everything is heated through. You don't wanna boil this just until it's nice and hot. Okay, so we have a few options. You can eat it right now as it is, or you can just freeze it just like this. So it has to cool a little bit before you put it in the freezer, but this is so simple to pull out later and it's all ready to go. All right, soup into the freezer bag. And we're just gonna zip it up, get all the air out. Now, usually I'd write on it beforehand, but we're gonna serve this for dinner, so I'm not gonna. But what you do is just heat it back up, either over a stove top or throw it in your Instant Pot, put it on saute, either one. Super simple, you are all done. Tomato bisque, pretty stiff, pretty frozen. Now we just need to thaw it and then serve it up. Because this has cream in it, because it's so thick, I just put it in my stock pot. We're just putting it on warm. We're just heating it up, cooking it all the way through. All right, tomato basil. Here we go, Inslee. Okay. It's not my favorite. Not your favorite. You want to give it a rating? I'll give it like a two out of five. Two out of five. <laughs> it's not the you best. don't love tomatoes. <laughs> And the last recipe I'm making is crack chicken chili. Now we've made crack chicken, we've turned it into chili and it's delicious. So first we're gonna start with our cream cheese cause you know, you gotta make it creamy, it's crack chicken. Then we're gonna have some chili beans. I like to use the mild chili sauce. It just, yes, it helps. The kids will eat it better. Then we have some diced green chilies, a can of corn. You can use frozen corn if you want to some ranch seasoning, and some diced tomatoes. Then we have some cheddar cheese. This is for the end on top. Then we have some bacon crumbles, then two cups of chicken broth, 
Then we have some chili powder, some onion powder, and some cumin, but I'm out of cumin right now, so just let's pretend. And then some chicken. Now this is like a rotisserie chicken. You can also put some raw or frozen chicken in there too. That'll work, they'll work just the same. So we have about a cup and a half of chicken in here. Ooh, it's toasty hot because we cooked it up from frozen. Then we have the can of corn that we drained, the chilies that we drained, the diced tomatoes, did not drain those. And then also the beans. We didn't want to drain the beans either because it has the yummy chili sauce in it. Next is our ranch seasoning. We'll just dump right in. And then the bacon. Now beware, when you do the bacon, you want to make sure if you're, you want to pull this out because you don't want that in your soup. So this is half a cup of the bacon bits. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. You know that's how we roll. And then we're just gonna add the two cups of chicken broth. Now I'm gonna eyeball this. So we have one teaspoon of chili powder. And then if you have cumin, it's one teaspoon of cumin and then one teaspoon of onion powder. Now you have some options. I'm gonna add my cream cheese right now. You can also add it right before you cook it in the slow cooker or instant pot, but I sometimes forget. So we're just gonna throw it in right now. We're all done here. So we're going to take this off very carefully, zip it up and then get all the air out. All right. We are done with this one. Now I'll show you how to cook it. All right, with the cracked chicken, <laughs> I just realized I need to film this. So I'm cheating and I cut it open and I'm actually gonna throw it into a stock pot and just heat it up. So we just got home from a trip. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a few minutes, let it unthaw and cook and yeah, I, it should be super quick. All right, I am the taste tester today because everyone was tired so Lunch leftovers taste tester. Ah. Mm. I loved it for dinner. I love it now. If you love cracked chicken or anything to do with it, this soup, it's good. It's really good. I'm gonna give it a five. Now, if you want more easy freezer meals, I have some amazing ones just right up there. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.